the expense, the access to the ice time, the, the instruction, transportation. Hockey has a lot of barriers. The Blackhawks have made it their goal to help remove some of the barriers that keep kids from learning and experiencing the game of hockey. Through programs like First Stride, which teaches children the principles of hockey using STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math, and the Get Out and Learn program. Blackhawks have brought hockey to more than uh, 550 schools in the city and helped more than 275,000 students gain access to street hockey equipment. And joining us now is Stanley Cup champion Blackhawks community liaison Jamal Mayers. Thanks so much for being here. Well, thanks for having me. This is so true. I've heard it from, I have so many friends who are hockey parents and they're like, the cost is insane. The kids love it, but if you don't have the money, there's a lot of kids that aren't playing. It, it's so true, and I think that's Rocky's mission is to kind of get out there and, and make it his mission to build the practice facility. And there's kind of three stages to our program. There's get out and learn, which is goal. And what it does is it allows kids of, uh, it, we go out to different schools, and so 150 sc uh, 50 schools will be visited. Over 100,000 kids will be uh, get a chance to participate in the game of hockey in their phys ed class. And that equipment it stays there with their school, and they get to try hockey for the first time. And what happens from there is that those interested kids and Rocky's vision and, and the organization's vision is to eliminate all the obstacles. So we'll then take those same kids, pick them up, from their school and bring them to the practice facility and then there's first stride so they actually get to try skating for the first time get them on the ice get them acclimated uh, to try in the game of to, to skating from there they can then try little blackhawks so there's three different stages but all these kids that never thought hockey was even possible get to be introduced to it in their phys ed class and by the end of it if they're interested they get a chance to play the game how do you figure out which kids get to uh, participate well, we try our best to go to almost every school that's interested, and the teachers do a gr fantastic job in showing their interest because ultimately they're the stewards that are going to help push this forward in, as part of their phys ed class. But the GOAL program does a great job of getting out there in mostly uh, African-American and Hispanic uh, classrooms and getting kids who otherwise wouldn't have the opportunity to play. And so... Um, and we, this is at Manuel Perez uh, Junior Elementary where you were. That's and we right. We followed you there. And, and Making Strides is a program. We're very grateful to you guys at WGN for uh, showing this program next, uh, tomorrow night at 6 p.m. because you're going to be able to follow a couple kids who started in the goal program and are now uh, doing the Little Blackhawks program. So it's a real exciting uh, adventure that, you know, it's fun to see something as an idea and then three years later actually see it come to fruition. And I, I, I'm assuming hockey is one of those sports you, you can't pick up later in life. You've got to start young, right? That's why the key is elementary school. Very true. Yeah. And I think, unfortunately, the one obstacle is skating. It's, yeah. it's, the ice is cold. It's, it's, as Sarah found out, it's, it's hard. You're going to fall <laughs> down. Yeah. And at the end of the day, what we wanted to do was eliminate the ice portion. So that's why goal makes sense, is to just get out there, let them enjoy and love the game without the skating component and then kind of gradually introduce them to the game and, and get them on the ice. And once kids get out there, they, they, they seem to love it. Have you had any good stories where, with a kid that came up to you and said something? I mean, there's, I'm sure when you work with kids like this, you must have a good story or two. The best is that, you know what, I'm, I'm so proud of how the kids, I mean, I have a 13-year-old and a 10-year-old. And for me, I can't see my 13-year-old trying something different. And for these kids that are 10, 11, 12, and 13, to try something brand new that they know they might not be good at takes so much courage. So I see a lot of, uh, I, I see a lot of compassion and as far as what they're able to do, and I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for this opportunity um, to be a part of it in, in some small way. Yeah, just looking at some of the video there, you have all these kids out there and lots of pairs of <laughs> skates and stuff like that. <laughs> who's, who's providing all, these, all this equipment and all the skates? Yeah, that's a great question. That's the Blackhawks. And so okay. obviously a few of the obstacles are transportation. They provide buses to go take these kids from their, their school and bring them to the, the MB Ice Arena. The, uh, the equipment is there for them to try the game as far as the, the skates and the, and the equipment and otherwise. And, and the instruction. And so eliminating all those obstacles, as you mentioned, which mm -hmm. make it so uh, prohibitive for kids to try the game, just the opens, it opens up their world. And at the end of the day, are we really going to make an NHL hockey player? Probably not. But as you know, sports is such a great vehicle for teaching kids other things about life, mm -hmm. whether it's commitment, dedication, sacrifice, teamwork, all those life lessons that they'll learn through hockey has been so beneficial for these if kids. If there's a school or a parent who wants their child's school to get involved in this, what do they do? Contact the block.
Cox. We're happy to get out Just to call schools. Rocky Words? Yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You directly? We do can, you have your cell phone number? We can put a cell phone down <laughs> on the screen Is there, there a website or something or a phone number that they can go to and contact the Blackhawks? Absolutely. Hawks? Go to the Blackhawks website and check out the community uh, uh, part of the, of the uh, website. And there's an there's an, uh, the ability for teachers to, to access it and, and get us out there to your school. We're happy to come out. We really appreciate you being here. And uh, there's the information on your screen here. This is going to be a, uh, a, a series here that we are airing here on WGN, Making Strides. will debut exclusively on WGN at 6 tomorrow night. The special will lead into Blackhawks Extra pregame show. For more information, there is the uh, website then. Uh, really appreciate you being here. Great to and see you, Jamal. I'm so excited for you guys to be able to show that because you're going to follow the journey of a couple kids, and it, it really is remarkable. It's so great. Right. Thanks so much for being Thanks here. For being here Thanks for having me. Hey, uh,